Hey guys, it's your girl Quan J, aka Glitter and Pisces, and these are questions with Quan J. The first question that I got is who shot the cover art? So I chose to do the cover art myself. I shot my own cover art. I usually do all of my self portraits. Last year in 2022, I really aimed to perfect photographing myself. So I invested in a camera, I have a Canon for pictures, which I'm also recording on right now. And then I also have Nikon for vlogs. I edited both the deluxe and the original album. The second question is, how did you know it was the right time to drop? So I felt like it was the right time to drop, honestly, because I kept going back and forth with myself. I feel like I've been talking about this album for Lord knows how long and I just felt like it was no better time than before the new year. So that way I didn't go into the new year with any of my music. Plus, I kind of had an epiphany. I want everything to be released and everything is released. Like I feel so clear and open and just super grateful that it's out. Like it's like my whole diary is just out for the world to see and it's so scary, but it's really exciting and very liberating at the same time. What does the artwork mean? I wanted it to look like it was a page out of my diary, but also where I was mentally. And I felt like me on the floor gave R&B, it gave some type of like sultriness, which I think really gave it that spin. And then I actually accidentally ended up putting my best friend's picture. He passed away, rest in peace to Aston. I miss him so much. But I accidentally edited the photo and it ended up looking like him. So I kept that especially. Number four is, what is your goal for this album? My goal for this album is to reach as many people as possible and let them heal from my music. I wanna really be able to show that good people can win in this industry. And I work hard for everything that I have and I'm super grateful to just be able to have a project like this out and to really show all sides of me, the sad, the sexy, the cute, the not so cute. Just be able to show all full sides of me without feeling like I'm censoring myself. Heartland, my last album, I really put a lot of pressure on myself to perfect this album because I wanted it to be better. You always wanna be better and I always look at each of my projects or each of my singles and everything as a time capsule on where I am. And it's taken me two years to really feel like this project was ready. And then also each interlude that I included, these were all voice memos that were sent to my phone prior. And I was just like, it would be pretty cool if I can edit them into an interlude. So when people listen to this album, they can also feel like someone is encouraging them on the other end and, you know, believing in them. I just really want to inspire people. That's really the main goal. Number five is which song was your favorite to make? My favorite song to make was Sorry. Sorry was a group collaboration and it was basically a writing workshop where it was an experiment to see if my engineer could help me write a song that was from the female perspective that pretty much summed up who I was and he did just that. Sorry was so much fun to make. Also Moon. Moon was definitely the most challenging song to make because I was questioning myself because it sounded so much different compared to what I usually do. Out of all the songs, which were created first? So the first song to ever be created for this album, I wanna say is available with me and James Royal. So that song was the first song I wanna say that I knew was gonna go on the tape, but I didn't necessarily know where it was gonna go on the tape. I know that available, I wanna say was one of the first, either available or nowhere. And I only have two features on my deluxe album, which is Nowhere by me and Sound God, and then Available. The seventh question is, why the title Full Circle? So, Full Circle, ah. Before I drop an album, I really try to center myself and ask God and ask the universe for guidance on what I should name my projects. And so while I was getting everything in order, the track list and listening to it over and over and over again and then editing, I just kept talking to people. I kept talking to, you know, friends of mine and they were just like, yeah, like it's just gonna be a full circle moment. And I was like, yeah, like that's what I'm trying to do. It just kept coming up in conversation and everyone just kept saying like, yeah, it's gonna be full circle, it's gonna be full circle. So I was just like, you know what? 
I think this is this is the album to call it full circle. And the eighth question and the final question is, how does it feel to have your work admired by so many people? Now, I am gonna try not to get emotional. It's the greatest feeling, if I can say so myself. I feel like my hard work is finally getting paid off and it's finally getting its recognition that it deserves. And I'm super grateful for it, so yeah. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to create more content. You guys be on the lookout for more stuff for me and thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I love you. Bye. You stay on my mind for sure.